away from water at all times. It'll lose some of that crispness. Almost like potato chips there. What I'm, gonna do is I'm just going to cut down the middle here. And really this is what you're looking for. This is what you're looking for. Nice piece of noise here. Now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to wet our hands. So that way the rice doesn't stick to us too bad. And what I do is I just get a little ball of rice, depending on your hand size. And how much rice you want on there. Put it in the middle, move it out. And press it down. So they're really good. Sushi chefs will do this in one or two fluid motions. Me, I, uh, I like to massage it a little bit. Alright, so there we have a nice layer of rice on the outside of the seaweed, or the nori. Now the first decision we come to is what do we want on the outside? We can have sesame seeds or we can have masago, which are the fish eggs. And right now I'm doing sesame seeds. So let me see, just, just sprinkle them on there. A little goes a long ways. Try not to overdo it on that. Here we have our roller that's wrapped up in the freezer bags, the Ziploc freezer bags. I found those to be extremely helpful when rolling up to see the sushi rolls. All right, um, in this roll, I think we're going to make a. Hmm. Gonna add the fish cakes. Come in individually wrapped here. These are the fish cakes that I use. Also known as crab sticks. I love these things. I can eat that whole thing just by itself. Very tasty little guys. Yes, it is imitation crab, but it's still good. So, here we have imitation crab. Let's go put some cucumbers in there. The great thing about with this is, you know, you can really be creative and use whatever you want to use in here. And, you know what, let's throw in some cream cheese. Get that down here. Spread it down. There we go. Now we got it set, I'm going to take this, roll it over once, halfway through, press it down a little bit, and then take it and roll it over another quarter turn or so, and voila, there's the sushi roll. So then I just put one more on the end just to form it up, and there you have your sushi roll. So if you don't have a very, very sharp knife at home, one thing I found is a serrated knife cuts the sushi very well. You want to make sure there is water on there so the rice doesn't stick to it. Cut it in half, line it up, and voila. There you go. And you can mix and match whatever you want. And that's a beautiful roll that tastes delicious. Mm -mm -mm.